Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scalabro Country, the virus edition, a.k.a. the Pandy Pods. A.k.a. one ran, one J. A.k.a. the pods that are Pandy, one Jason, one Randy. There you, there you go. go. That's how we do it. Uh, guys, we're back. Hope you're doing well. We are barreling towards this amazing live Dumb People Town that we're doing this Saturday, 6.30 p.m., eventbrite.com. Jack Black, Open Mic Eagle. Only get a few tickets. tickets left. Get, get there. Them, get them right now. We got stories. I want to jump into it right now. At this point in the pandemic, Jay, if you've got a job you and it's be, still asking you to work, you, you should, should probably not be rock happy. the boat. Just be, be happy. happy. Just get in there. Nor should you rock somebody's body in the boat. Yeah. It, okay. It feels like... I feel like the pandemic has been around for ages. For years. And while the stock market is falsely telling us the story of the greatest growth in American history, it's, it's a bubble, y'all. And behind the bubble is a lot of sadness. Yep. Loss of work. Joblessness. That is, if we can't approve appropriate government relief in this moment, right? And, and tons of it. And we need tons of it. And so we know there will be a fight against it. We know people... Are, we may not be able to come up with enough relief to stave off the bubble burst. But, but we may be able to help a lot of people, and that could help this. But the, all of that is to just say that if you have a job right now... Just, just, just try and keep it. Don't, don't do don't, anything to get... Don't do anything to not keep it. Don't, for example, have sex with someone while you're collecting overtime on the job. Yeah. Maybe don't do that, okay? I mean, like you the can dude do that in today's an, story. You can do that another time. You can do that if you work at a strip club, but not where this guy works, okay? And here's your trigger warning. This story does come from the New York Post. So, so get ready for some terrible journalism, awful puns, attempts to be funny by someone who's not funny. It's like if TMZ became a newspaper. Or it's like if your drunkest friend in his drunkest moment before he pees his pants and falls asleep in a Denny's parking lot decides to write a bunch of articles for the New York Post. Right. That's what it is. Okay, so if that triggers you, then feel free to fast forward through these weird parts or to shout loudly to cover like the second. I just want people all over the place to be like, God damn you, New York Post. That is or just yell, bad writing. That's bad writing. Here we go. Okay. The taxpayers weren't the only ones getting screwed. No. Just stop, New York no. Post. You Absolutely sons of bitches. Not. God, I hear that annoying TMZ voice. Of, Ew, okay, okay. Shut up. Shut up, New York Post. A Metro North worker resigned last month. Resi do you resign if you're a Metro North worker? Do you just quit? I think you just walk I out the door you and quit. get your last There's day. no like... Like making what, it resign. What was like he his, was like a Supreme Court justice. What was his resignation press conference like, Jay? Who knows? What were, what were, what were the letters that he sent out as part of his resignation? Okay. Oh, God. He's not Nixon, all right? Yeah, just exactly. a guy who worked at, at Metro North. Okay, resign. And wait till you hear what he did. And you'll be like, this guy did not need a formal resignation. Okay. The MT after the MTA's watchdog, is it a dog? I still don't know what it is. I think it was just a video. Caught him having sex with a woman at a rail yard. Romantic. Yeah. He He's was, a hopeless romantic. He right was, around Valentine's if Day. If I'm the New York Post, he was trying to rail her yard. Hey, oh, uh, while collecting overtime pay, according to a new report. I love that they added in while collecting That's overtime. That's the thing pay. that bugged them the most. But they thought that was going to get everyone who reads the New York Look, Post I can, I can, up. I can handle the fact that this guy's hit banging some. Like if woman. he would have done it during regulation hours, we would have been cool with it, right? But Rand? the fact that he's doing it in overtime and he wants time and a half to give him his time. I'm and one a half. and a half times more angry about it. The fact that Based it happened on during the hourly overtime. rate. Or like if he did it before work, we'd be like, "Good on you, man." Or Good for you. At work. That's fine. Whatever. It's, it's, Long as he doesn't do it in overtime. This might be his coffee break. His overtime is our time. You cannot <laughs> right. do that on that's our time. taxpayer time right there. How dare he? Investigators from the office of MTA Inspector General Carolyn Pocorny. I, Pocomi. It's Pocomi. Is it? Or is po it Pocorny? Pocorny sounds like it rhymes with horny or like Pokemon. You got to right. catch them all. I collect You got to catch them all. You got to collect all the General Carolyns if you, got, you don't. You maybe gotta, he was trying to collect them. And maybe there was one inside this woman's vagina and he had to get it out. <laughs> right. She had a Pikachu. He wanted to get in there and he wanted to it. slip his Venusaur into, into her, her Bulbasaur. But here's the thing. Like, Pocorny does sound like... Got to catch them all. Seems it's like, corny porn. Like, but to, it sounds like you're trying to catch all the people who are what having if it's sex Pokemon on the job. Porn. Yeah, it's Pokemon porn. Or catch them all means you want to get it later. Yeah, all right. Whatever. So, okay. I love it. Observe the machinist. 
I know what. Now we know why they call him a machinist. Dude was a love making machinist. That's right. A uh, 25 year veteran. So he's not a youngster. Yeah, okay? he's definitely been on the job long enough to know that you're not supposed to do this, certainly during overtime hours. He can't walk around and be like, what? What? Nobody said anything about that. What is this? A new rule that you can't have sex with I had no with an idea employee? about that rule. You can't play dumb when you've been doing a job for 25 years. The truth is, if he does it, and there's video of him doing it in the yard, and the, and it's consensual with the woman. Right. And he doesn't ask for the overtime pay. This is a non-story. Agreed. But he's getting that time and a half. So mm. he was seen bringing an unauthorized woman onto the grounds of Croton Harmon property three times last spring, including at least one time that got steamy, according uh-huh. to the report, set to be publicized later Monday. Unauthorized woman makes her sound so dirty. It does. Like Unauthorized it, woman is like an Atlantic star song from 1984. That is like secret, authorities can't authorize her. Secret love, uh, unauthorized woman. woman. That's, That's what, what you are. are. So she doesn't belong there. She's unauthorized. Authorities cannot justify her being there. Three Jay, times. Like you brought said. her there three times. On May 16th, OIG Gumshoes observed the man and wo- what is OIG Gumshoes? I don't even know what that They're is. They're just investigators. Observe the man and woman, neither of whom is identified by name in the report. Well, I think she was just identified. She's an unauthorized woman. She's an unauthorized woman woman is who she is identified as. Watch them, quote, kiss and have intimate contact in a railroad railroad storage yard. Well, that's romantic. Two things happen in a railroad. Three things happen in a railroad storage yard. You dump a body. Four things happen in a railroad storage yard. You dump a body. Kimbo Slice gets into a fight and knocks a guy's eyeball out. Yes. You store your rail stuff. Right. Or you bang some with woman. woman. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before An you say woman. before you say it can't possibly get more romantic than it gets even steamier. Than hanging and having intimate contact in a railroad storage yard. Mm-hmm. Behind the open door. This is quote behind the, the open door is like the name of the porn <laughs> here. Right. Behind the open door of the woman's Nissan Pathfinder, no. according to the document. He's finding a path right there. Well, that's just is that straight out of a fifth Shades of Grey book. That's, he put her behind the door of a Nissan Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's, it's so romantic. He put an unauthorized woman behind <laughs> the He bent over an unauthorized woman behind the door of a path. Around a Pathfinder. A Pathfinder. Are we getting in? No, no, no. We're just going to go behind the open door of your Pathfinder. Finder. No. It's it's so much more comfortable inside the bed. This guy is... He's, he seems like he's not treating her well. Like, that's the reason why he should be busted. She wants to go into the back seat. She wants to be treated like a lady, not so an look, unauthorized woman. Right. You treat this woman like an unauthorized lady, not an unauthorized woman. This guy's a machinist. I guess he doesn't care where he does. He doesn't. He just wants to touch her intimately and then, you know, do it behind the open, open door, door of a Nissan, Nissan Pathfinder. Pathfinder. The train yard tryst, oh, of course. God. The New York Shut Post. Shut up, New York Post. Which went down a mere 10 to 15 feet from tracks, clearly labeled no entry except authorized. Vehicles, this is an unauthorized to- woman. Okay, but is that a sex joke from the New York Post? No entry. Says no entry, yeah. but did this yeah. guy listen? Hell, Hell no. no. He tried to enter. What are you doing, New York Post? We know what you're trying to do. It sucks. When we do it, it's fine. When you do it, it's wrong. I love that they think that because it happened so close to the tracks, anyone would care. First it was overtime. They're like, a mere 15 feet or yards from the tracks. Like, that's like going to make it worse. Like, someone's going to be like, well, where were they having sex? About 20 feet from the tracks no that's oh, fine no, actually, no i'm sorry actually it was it was 15 feet oh what? no 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 they were not our tracks not, not taxpayer our... tracks no it occurred in the middle of the man's overtime shift and lasted an impressive 77 minutes do not put your commentary new york post yeah. into this story why is that impressive is that impressive I, I say you say it's an impressive 77 minutes i'm saying this guy can't finish it's a long time gps to put the train in the station big man GPS from the data, data from the machinist MTA issued truck shows. How GPS did, data. How did, did he put the address of her G spot in yeah, there? Yeah, that's the G. How is the GPS mm-hmm. data? That's the G and GPS. How did that gather would, that he lasted seventy seven minutes with this woman? I was, don't understand. Was that, was that from the Pathfinder's Garmin? What's happening here? I don't know. Speaking of Garmin, we're going to tell you what happened in the rest of this story after this break. It's getting yeah, it's getting hot and steamy in here. I love it. It's a rail yard. It's overtime. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We mentioned at the top, get your tickets for the live Dumb People Town. That's right. That's this Saturday, February 27th, Jack Black. 
Open Mike Eagle. And that, that's at 6.30, eventbrite.com. Yep. Also, while you're there, pick up tickets for our, uh, we do a live stand-up show on March 20th. It's going to be so much fun. And then we would do a little cheap seats at the end. Live cheap seats. If you miss cheap seats, never before seen cheap seats footage and us making jokes over it. It's going to be a blast. We'd love to see a huge crowd there for that one. So that's March 20th. We'll keep pumping that as time as and it gets closer. And then the stereo. Guys, stereo is so much fun. We do these uh, stereo conversations where you can you can comment on what we just, on the episode that dropped that day. It'll yeah. spark new discussions. And again, that's 3 p.m. on Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific time on Mondays and Wednesdays. We do Dump People Town 4 p.m. on Tuesdays, and we do Sports Talk Friday at 3 p.m. Follow us on Stereo. It's so much fun. Follow Randy, follow Jason, and then you can follow our conversations. All okay, right, let's get so, this. So when we left, uh, an MTA worker who gave a formal resignation because he had sex with a woman behind the open door of her Nissan Pathfinder. Only 15 feet from the railway tracks. And apparently his GPS in his MTA truck it tracked him to this and that it cost him. that it took him 77 minutes yeah, to in exactly. this in, encounter exactly. this tryst did any of that 77 minutes uh, was that time that he held her well i don't know and here's the thing nobody cares that he did this during his overtime right. new york post wants to make a big deal out of the fact that he used his overtime moment nobody nobody cares right. that's got nothing to do with anyone but the new york post 77 minutes is too long that's too long for sex okay he, he can't be it. having sex that long and, and i would argue that's too long that's too long for a sexual encounter that's behind an open door of, of a, a Nissan, Nissan Pathfinder. Pathfinder. That's not, no one's comfortable. If it's a Nissan Leaf. Yeah, we're not doing anything in the environment there. Well, that's a different story because it's electric, like his lovemaking style. That's right. 77 this guy's a minutes. a machinist. Left. 13 days later, is that a movie? Mm -hmm. Investigators from Pocorny's office. <laughs> that name is the just Pocorny funny. Pocorny Investigators. Uh, Pocorny's office. Observe because it's got poke and horny yeah. both in the name. Poke and horny. Observe the man bring the woman to the same Metro North facility for an extended lunch. Folks, quote unquote, extended lunch. In air was, quotes, was there dessert? He ate out. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. If you catch my drift, New York Post. Investigators caught the machinist taking a longer than permitted lunch break off MTA property on five other occasions, mm. including one meeting with the female companion that lasted more than three hours. He already has a 77-minute uh, tryst. Yeah, this is now three hours. That's what we call sending the train into the tunnel for some repairs, if, if you, you know, know what, what I mean. Saying. Yeah. But the couple's afternoon delights were hardly confined to work hours. Yes. yes. They were extended to overtime hours. That's you why made I was so mad about this. Abundantly clear. No one is angry about this except for you, New York Post. The machinist's daytime shifts typically ended six hours before his overtime shifts, in between which he was permitted to go home and rest. But of course... He went home and then he got ready to come out and do his resting. That's right. Three-hour stop at a parking slot in West Street in Peekskill. This guy is romantic. He's Get like, behind the door of this Pathfinder. We're meet me in this parking lot don't, don't say i don't take you to nice places get into this dried out riverbed come on i'm a machinist i'm a romantic i'm a romantic we're only 15 feet from the old tracks over there so it is my overtime i'm getting time and a half bend over on four instances the oig observed the man drive off with the woman after leaving the mta's truck at the lot. So he left it at the lot to be like, I'm here. And right. then he took so, off. But what, now let me just posit this theory, because I don't know if this is true. But what if she's his life coach? Yeah. And she's talking to him about unlocking the potential. If that you he know has. what we mean. There you go. The GPS data showed the man returning a few hours later to drive the truck back to work. She's a life coach. Yeah, definitely. She's getting him psyched up to go back That's for right. overtime. Under MTA regulations, agency vehicles must be driven to work and back home via the most direct way possible. This so guy, I love that the New York Post is nailing this guy on a technicality. And speaking of getting nailed on a technicality, folks. yet IG investigators identified dozens of additional times the man used his MTA issued vehicle on days driving to the West Street lot or a nearby rail crossing on 32 separate occasions and leaving it there overnight. Yeah, we get it. He's having an affair. That's okay. it. You, you called that out. Is this really what we need to be going nuts about right now in this country? Let me ask. Are, are they storming the Capitol? Did they take her car to then try and stop the electoral Are process? they storming the Capitol? I mean, he may have entered her rotunda, but Maybe. I don't think they're storming the he Capitol. He probably vandalized it If you know what we mean. Yeah. Right? He planted his flag in there. Yeah. Confronted by investigators, the machinist pleaded ignorance of the railroad's policy on use of company vehicles. Look, how am I supposed to know their policy? I've, I've only worked here for 25 years, a quarter of a century. How do I? How am I supposed to know what their vehicle policy is? I'm assuming is? you can take their trucks and park them somewhere and go off for hours every day and have an affair. Show me. Show me where it says you can. Oh, right here? <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. Right here in then the I, okay. Then I, no. That is my mistake. How am I supposed to know that, though? Yeah. 
He also claimed to have only begun parking the car away from home when the COVID-19 pandemic hit to protect a family member with an underlying health condition. Uh, is that family member your wife? That maybe I that, think it, it could be. Or is that family member your penis? If you know what we mean, family member, New York post. In reality, the man had been making hours long stops on the way between home and work since 2019. GPS data showed, according to the report, you got some explaining to do. He was brought up on disciplinary charges in December and resigned after a January 20th disciplinary hearing. He resigned. Yeah. But during a short recess in the hearing, he drove to an abandoned warehouse and made love to an unauthorized woman next to a Toyota Tacoma. Door was I don't open. Know if that door was I, open. I, <laughs> hatch was down. When the doors open, don't come a snooping. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Metro North has zero tolerance for theft or time appropriation of resources for personal use. Yeah, Metro North has always been such sticklers for not wasting anyone's time. Yeah, if you've I, ever we've never stood on, on a, pla- a Metro North platform and waited an extra thirty minutes yeah. for a train to come. Yeah, They're like Germany over there. Yeah, everything runs on time. Huh? Yeah, all the trains run to the minute yeah. right there's never been a time in a boiling hot like tunnel, tunnel where we waited for 35 45 minutes, minutes. Yeah, for em- a metro north train this employee was suspended without pay and subsequently resigned and we are reviewing ways to improve accountability good for you metro north taking a hard stand against one man's happiness that's right <laughs> i guarantee you no one missed him on the job and he was probably happy for the first time in his miserable life the rail yard romeo shut up New York. shut Park. up the fact that you call this guy the rail rail yard romeo listen to what they then say next was snared amid a years long crackdown by the oig's office on overtime cheats and that's not the only thing he was cheating on Folks, if you know what we mean i think you know what we mean and this is a show and that's how we there do it there you go there you go guys stay connected stay protected don't get infected this is not a hoax but we got the jokes we'll see you saturday night live dumb people town and then we'll see you in march on march 20th for live stand-up and live cheap seats uh thanks for joining us for all this stuff we love you guys it's our community and we're out La-dee-da. La-dee-da-dee-da-dee-da. La-dee-da. Thank you.